Hey everybody, it's your online singing coach back again today with a new reaction and analysis. Marcelito Pomoy's The Prayer was a reaction experience I'll never forget. So we're going to check out his other Wish Buzz performance, The Power of Love. In the morning. Wish 107.5. Of love is leaving time. <laughs> Rolling by. Sounds just like Celine. Beautiful. Hold on to your body and feel its move. You make your voice is warm and tender. I love that. I've heard him on the prayer, so I know what he can do, but it is so uncanny. He sounds literally just like Celine. For example, on the word, a love that I could not forsake, you can hear Celine's accent on that word love and Marcelito saying it the exact same way. We'll check that out again in a second. One thing that I was inwardly giggling about in this performance is I love Marcelito's shades there on the table. <laughs> His sunglasses. I can just picture he rolled into the studio like, what's up, you guys ready? Okay. And then he breaks into the Celine Dion voice. <laughs> love that I could not Cause I'm your It's amazing! I always say everybody has their own unique voice, but Celine, look out, mama. You have got a clone. <laughs> For Marcelito, there's a very clear combination of uncanny natural talent, his range, his resonant spaces, his placement, how far back into his mouth is, how raised the soft palate is, how raised the larynx is. There's, there's all these factors that are just matching up with Celine, but you can also tell he's really, really studied her. He has studied her voice, her vocal mannerisms. And so yes, it's this combination of natural ability and studying that is just knocking this performance out of the park. Lost this Even though there may be time It seems I'm far away Never wonder where I am Cause I'm, I'm always by your side Cause I'm Yes, something else that's interesting about his performance is, I mean, his vocals are just selling it. The dynamics, the little ornaments, the vowel shapes, the power, it's all there. His face is like he's still in sunglass mode. He's like, yeah, I'm singing. It's like he'll, he'll do a phrase and then he's like, chill. Do a phrase, chill. 
<laughs> so for me, it's a little bit like Celine's embodying his voice, but it has not embodied his body. Celine will do some pretty grand gestures. Marcelino is very chill here with his physical performance. <laughs> So the only time that you can kind of hear a little variation between Celine and Marcelito is in the lower range. Celine will, will get real tapped into her chest voice there. Of the, but Marcelito is in his head range. He, he has to keep that note in his head voice or else he's gonna suddenly sound like a dude. <laughs> so that's the only time where the colors between Celine and Marcelito vary just a tiny bit. Otherwise, it's note for note, the same quality voice. Sometimes I because he is in his head voice and he is just getting huge, huge power and control on these notes. Beautiful vibrato, I just love it. I'm pretty sure I saw Marcelito and Morissette do a duet and I kind of remember in that one they were a little shy with the body language. I feel like it's kind of the same thing here. It's like he's kind of like completely ignoring the camera. It's like he's in a recording session where he doesn't need to emote per se. Every now and then he'll scrunch up his face a little bit, but for the most part, it's like I said, he's very chill. I wouldn't mind if he was a little more connected physically to it, but at the same time, I can also understand how him to be singing, I'm your lady, you are my man. And he's a guy who identifies as a guy. So I could see why it might be weird for him to be like, I'm your lady, when he knows he's not a lady. He's imitating a lady. So as I, as I talk through these thoughts, it's probably a little more appropriate that he doesn't super emote on a phrase like that. Nevertheless, I feel like he's just a little bit shy with the camera. And I recognize that this recording is from about six years ago, and I'd be curious to see where Marcelito is now with his stage presence. Is like is
<laughs> and then he just like looks out the window again. <laughs> Marcelina, that's the only thing that's throwing me off. He belts out the biggest note of the song and he's like. <laughs> Great strategy there on that high note. It was a bit of a push for him, at least just in this moment in this particular performance. And I could hear just the tiniest hint of tension as he held on to the note. And what did he do? He threw in the vibrato. This is exactly what to do when you're in a moment like that. Vibrato helps relax the voice. It helps bring it back to optimum manufacturing of the tone. Let's watch that note again. You'll see he's got it at first, then he feels a little bit unsure, and so he kicks in the vibrato. And the rest of the note sails all the way to the end when he's done with it. <laughs> For the power of love. Right, here's the tension. And there's the vibrato. Yes. Wish Clusive on Wish. The power of love. 107.5. I was wondering if he was going to do that. <laughs> oh, he's, he's so cute. He's so cute. He's not revealing too much on his face. And then suddenly he's like, <laughs> he didn't like it. But I liked it. We're way up there. What is this note? We're, we're way up here on a B flat. I just hit it in my falsetto. And, and this is my range. This is getting way up there for females. And the fact that he was able to hit it, nice job, Marcelito. He wasn't happy with it. That's why he stuck his tongue out. But I think he did great with it. And then at the end, one more little huh from him. I think there is that moment of relief after all the effort, after all the concentration, after all the notes in this song. And let's remember, this is a hard song. This is a big belting song. There's a lot of range in it. There's a lot of long held phrasing. It's not only hitting these big belted notes, but it's holding them forever. And that probably would have made the exact same expression when I'm done with this song, if that was me in the wish bus and I just finished the song. So this was another real treat. I'm glad I watched the prayer first so that I knew that he doesn't just do an amazing Celine Dion. There's more to his voice than that. Nevertheless, he would have a career just singing Celine Dion songs, but there is more to his voice. And I'm still getting to know all the elements of his voice. So please leave in the comments other suggestions for me to check out by Marcelito Pomoy. I hope you enjoyed watching this with me. If you did, please be sure to hit subscribe. And if you'd like to see my other Marcelito reactions, you can find them on my Philippines Best Singers playlist right here. Thanks so much again. I'll see you next time.